What's going on everyone? It's Bales and welcome back to your AFL Fantasy Daily News Recap. It is Monday the 20th of March, so round one's in the books. There was plenty of injury carnage and a few updates to come out of the weekend, so let's get stuck straight into it. It started on Friday night when Tom Stewart went down with a knee injury. Geelong have said that it is an MCL injury, so he'll be out for three to four weeks. Could be a little bit longer, but more like not, it'll be about a month he'll be on the sideline. So he is over, well, he's dro- he actually dropped below 800k, dropped a lot, dropped 61k. So he's now around the 870k mark. So it's obviously a must trade, but instead of maybe getting to a big premium like a Dawson or a Sicily or something like that, the only cost. 10, 20K, it's going to cost you a little bit more to get to them. Or you can sideways to Dacos or Young. So if you are Stuart Owen, let me know in the comments below who you guys are going to replace him with. Then Saturday was another injury. Uh, Tristan Cherry, who a lot of people jumped on for their R2 spot. He went down, his leg got trapped underneath uh, the guy that tackled him. I can't exactly remember who it was, but twist his ankle and he'll be having ankle surgery. So North Melbourne have said they don't know exactly how long he'll be on the sidelines for, but you'd imagine it'd be at least probably at least six, seven, eight weeks, probably more. So it is obviously a must trade. So again, it's a tough one because round one is so difficult to uh, really do your trades when you get an injury to a guy that even is like a mid price, like a cherry. So are you going to try and downgrade someone to go him up? Are you going to go sideways like a Goldstein who's now going to get a, a fair crack at that number one ruck? So again, if you're a cherry on, let me know who you guys are going to in the comments below. And then Sunday as well, double whammy for the Giants. So Lockie Whitfield uh, was concussed and he will be missing 12 days. But the ones more fantasy relevant, a lot more people got. Some people got Whitfield, but a lot more people had Josh Kelly. He was on track for a very good score, 91 points. And it was early in the last quarter and he copped a big hit from... I think Sloan bumped him and then he uh, head clashed with Riley O'Brien. So he um, was concussed and he'll also be missing 12 days. So for me, it is probably a must trade as well. I think the only thing you can really do is maybe Hollands. If you've got someone like him on the bench, he scores really well on a Thursday night and you could keep Josh Kelly for that. That's the only way I could see you really keeping him. But it is a must trade. So again, let me know who uh, you Kelly owners are going to in the comments below. And also Whitfield owners, let me know what you're doing with those guys. The other injury just to keep an eye on as well was that Liam Jones went off with a neck injury during the Dogs game against Melbourne on Saturday night. So the Dogs have said they haven't ruled him out for this week. So there is a chance that he could play. And against St Kilda, he could actually rack up a few marks like Freo did on the weekend. So if you are a Liam Jones owner, you may not have to get off of him. But obviously that low score will mean that his cash generation won't be there. But I guess if he does play, you can hold on if you do have other issues to deal with. So in terms of some other news as well, obviously um, there was plenty of injury carnage, but there was a few shining lights. So Harry Sheasel was one of the big shining lights. He obviously scored 118 with 34 disposals against West Coast. He got the Rising Star Award, so he will be, that's obviously great for him. And if you don't own Harry Sheasel, I would definitely be trying to look to get him into your side. Also, Braden Proust as well. Um, it's not as bad of a back injury as what they suspect, so he could be back soon. So if you've got him in draft or anything like that, then that's something to keep an eye on. And yeah, a few suspensions. Obviously, Cozzy Pickett, a few guys jumped on him. He'll be missing two matches, and I think he's accepted the ban as well. So you've got to be looking at something to do with him. Then the final thing as well is that Lockie Weller is uh, due to come back this week. Gold Coast have pretty much confirmed that he will be coming back. So... With Charlie Constable uh, butchering the ball a fair bit on Saturday night, does that potentially put a spanner in the works for him? Does he maybe get dropped from that team? Let's hope not, as as a lot of people out there have got him. But it is just a bit of a small flag early in the week just to keep note. I, I think he'll, I think Weller will come back in for someone else. I think they'll keep Constable in there, but it is just something to keep note of as well. And there we go. So that is all the injury news for today. I'll be back again tomorrow for tomorrow's daily news recap. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, so if you can help me reach that, very much appreciated. Turn notifications on so you don't miss when I go live or upload any content in the future. And also follow all my social media links. They are in the description below, so go and follow me across all of those. So until tomorrow, I'll see you then. I'm out. Cheers.